Hello, everybody. Okay, so this time we have another ukiyo-e from Skioka Yoshitoshi's 100 Aspects of the Moon. Now, this one is short and sweet, not too difficult. And I think, uh, especially if you happen to be a Naruto fan, I think you're gonna you're gonna enjoy this one. Okay, so let's go ahead and start. First, I need to get rid of all of this. Let's move this out of the way. Okay, now let's start with the title. Okay, one by one. So this one is, and it's actually like, oh, let me switch to Japanese. It's actually like this, but I'm just gonna write hiragana for now. Okay. Okay. So we have tsu. What about this one? Do you know? Okay. This one is key. Now I believe which key. Uh, I think it's the key in kikai, or at least the 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 right hand portion of this character. But the reading is key. Okay, so we have tsu, ki. Next one. Okay. This is a kanji, and it is... Hyaku. Hyaku, 100. Okay, so we have tsu, ki, hyaku, and this one. This one, probably, you're not going to know, unless you're really familiar with reading kuzushiji or the, the i mean the kanji at least this is another kanji it is here let me write it out directly the kunyomi Sugata. okay so the reading is shi so we have four characters tsu ki hyaku and shi it's actually there should be a no uh Tsuki no hyakushi. Yeah, that's the way it should be read. So you can think of it like this. And again, Tsuki no, tsuki no hyakushi is just the, the title of this ukiyo-e collection. Again, in English, it's 100 aspects of the moon. Okay, so we've got that line out of the way. Let's move into the little, I won't say poem. Let's move into this part. Okay, so let's make a new line. The first character is she. And it comes from this kanji, kokorozashi. Okay, the reading is she. Okay, next one. This is another hiragana this one is ha but i believe it comes from this yeah but the reading is ha okay so on this line so far we have she ha how about this one? I'll give you a moment to think about. Okay. This one, if you don't know, it's obviously understandable. This is one of those old school, outdated hiragana. And it is E. Now let me see if I can find it. Yeah, this one. Here we go. E. So we have she, ha, E. Okay, now let's go to the next line right here. Let me make a new line. Okay, now the next character is this one. You have a good shot at getting on your own. It is Ma. Okay. Now, next one. What is this character right here? 
Again, this one is not too crazy. Probably you can do it on your own. It's cheap. Okay. Now, this one, of course, it's no. Okay, so let's go back. We have shi, ha, i, ma, chi, no. Okay, now, here comes the interesting part. This is a kanji. Again, unless you're extremely familiar with reading Kuzushiji on your own, probably you're not going to know this one. So, let me tell you, this character is, you guessed it, Akatsuki. Akatsuki. Okay, and of course, this is uh, Tsuki, like the moon. Tsuki, so I'll write it this way. Okay, now, I don't know if you are supposed to read this as Akatsuki, like all together, or Akatsuki. Ski, I'm, I'm not exactly sure, but let's go back and look at the whole thing. So we have she, ha, i, ma, chi, no, akatsuki. Okay, now you might be wondering. Um, so we have machi, no, machi is just machi, like town. But what about this she, ha, i? Okay, now let me tell you, it's actually Shibai. Shibai, like this. Shibai Machi no Akatsuki. Shibai Machi no Akatsuki. Okay, and this Shibai no Machi, it would be the place where, like, actors or, or performers live and this Akatsuki I guess it's referring to the moon this particular moon all in this uh, in this collection of ukiyo-e all they're all referring to and depicting the moon so I guess that's the point of this image so the whole thing is shibai machi no Akatsuki okay that's it I told you it would be pretty short thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.